Hey, today is World Mental Health Day, and I'm really honored to have the opportunity to try to build a solution to try to make more accessible, affordable, and convenient professional care to those who need it. Uh, our small contribution to this very large and real growing global issue. And today I'm traveling with a colleague of mine, Dr. Tiffany Ong. She's our Chief Operations Officer at Mallory, and she did her PhD in Cognitive, Perceptual, and Brain Sciences. It's a mouthful, but she does a lot of fascinating work and research on how we perceive threats based on our position in society. Because biologically, our brains and bodies perceive social threats the same way it does with a real physical danger, like a, like a lion chasing after us. And in today's modern societies where we get a lot of stress and anxiety from perceived threats to social relationships, whether it's at home in our families, or at work in the workplace, uh, or even in our social circle of friends. And the moment we are triggered and we perceive these threats, it impairs our ability to be creative. It affects our ability to judge and solve problems, um, affects our ability to collaborate, and ultimately it impacts our ability to trust other people and connect. And so one useful framework to try to address this, to try to understand where the gaps are and how we might be able to come up with actionable solutions to uh, repair or foster better social relationships comes from David Rock uh, and his scarf rod, where S stands for status, which is our relative importance to others. Uh, C stands for certainty, our ability to predict the future. A stands for autonomy, our ability to control events around us. R stands for relatedness, how we feel safe around others. And F stands for fairness, how we perceive the exchanges amongst people. And when someone feels threatened, their cortisol levels, the stress hormones gets triggered, puts the body in this defensive state and triggers that fight or flight response. And that's where it impairs that ability to be creative and productive. In contrast, when we nurture social relationships and we have positive uh, situation, uh, our happy hormones, dopamine, uh, gets released, right, and puts us in a, in a calm and, and safe state. And so what Tiffany researches on is how low-income and marginalized communities have higher levels of perceived threats. And this is evidenced by the higher levels of cortisol hormones uh, concentrated because of how they perceive societal pressures on them. And so that can actually lead to um, traits of violence and, and so the solution is to engage and support rather than to isolate and contain which just reinforces that vicious circle and so today and hopefully every other day let's relook at our relationships our social networks and understand how others may perceive threats uh, based on our actions based on the five SCARF um, elements and let's work to work together to support each other and create an environment that nurtures positive social relationships. So happy World Mental Health Day.